Well, here we go, it's match day. It's Sunderland versus Barnsley at the Stadium of Light. And I cannot wait. Been looking forward to this match. It's a massive match. I think it's third, second versus fourth. That's what it is, second versus fourth. Barnsley have been playing well. Not fantastically well, mind. Neither of Sunderland, to be honest. But Sunderland, I'm hoping, I'm desperate for three points tonight to make amends for two points dropped on Saturday. And Max Power has had his red card rescinded. Doesn't mean I want him starting on that. The starting lineup because I don't. I want him benched. I want him on the bench. He's too much of a liability to start in the starting lineup at this moment in time until he calms down and controls himself. Put him on the bench. He'd be great coming off the bench in the second half if we need him. I'm off the match with Keno and Wincy. I'm looking forward to tonight. I'm looking for a couple of pints. Having a good night. Hopefully it's not too chilly, but hopefully Sunderland can warm us up with a few goals. I'm hoping for a 3 0 victory. Yes, you heard it here. A 3 0 victory. It's going to be a tough match. Barnsley and no pushovers. But let's hope and pray for a 3 0 victory. And Magic Magic to score the first goal. I'm going to my first Tuesday night home match for a long time. I'm looking forward to this. I've got a day off work tomorrow to recover. So I'm in no rush to get back. I don't have to get up early in the morning. So I'm going to enjoy a couple of pints, some chips and a good night at the Stadium of Light. Maybe it's a bovril at half time because I bet it's bloody freezing. I'll see you later. What a fantastic show he puts on. Amazing pre-match show at the Wee Chief. Everybody gets up there for a pint and a sing-along and enjoy night. It's absolutely fantastic. Weefully at the Wee Chief. Fucking excellent. I'm eating the match to Sunday vs Barnsley me with Keno. Oh, what's the score going to be Keno? I'm off here 2-1 Sunday. 2-1. Who's going to score? Max Powell scoring on both and make up for what he's been doing. I don't know, yeah. Does it depends he... if he scores, if he scores two. I, can... I mean, I wish every Sunderland player all the best and I support every Sunderland player. How was starting, so I support him 100%. I hope he scores the fucking hat trick. Yeah, it's a last chance, like, if he gets sent off again, well, you know. Ah, oh, yeah, definitely last chance good. saloon for Max Power. Is, is Power keeping his power or would he lose his power? I'm just Hopefully, gonna... he'll keep it. I've just got a feeling he's going to make it up and he's going to score at least two. I just think he has to. Yeah. I hope so. He has to score. Wincy! What's the score going to be? 2 0 Sullen, Marger. 2 0 Sullen, Marger. Marger, oh, yeah. Is Power going to get sent off? I hope not. I hope not either. I hope he has sack. a fantastic game. I hope Jack Ross does the business, ah. picks the right team, and gets the results, and we get three points ah. in Barnsley. No, and he's juggy. <laughs> Kano, you're around the bend, you, mate. You're around the bend. Go on. You're getting old, aren't you? It's a bit faster than that. What's your thoughts on the Black Cats bar Kano for the first time? It's good news. You can spend £10 for a ticket to game of the year to watch the Adelaide Stanley match. Bean bag. Bean bag, that's called. What did you get, Winty? Pine. 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 And a nice warm piss in the toilet here. And then a four goal. Spot on with <laughs> Just a one bill. Sweet, Luke, cool nine. Two or three beans, isn't there really? 
for 10 quid, what do you expect? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Day, right? The Black Cat's Bar is the place to be. I'm coming here again for Boxing Day. I'll we'll have a nice meal and I'll watch us beat Bradford 6 0. Sunderland, penalty to Sunderland. Come on, who's gonna take it? I didn't see it. It's McGeady, man, McGeady. Ah, come on, McGeady. He never misses them! He never misses them! Pussy! Get him! 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 Fantastic goal! 2 0 Sullen! Get him! Get in! What a game! 3 0 Sullen against Bansley! Only half an hour gone! Absolutely fantastic stuff! What a goal that was by Gooch! Brilliant goal! Get in! Well, it's half time, the Sunderland 3, Barnsley 1. What a match! Barnsley started off really well, controlling the first 15 minutes, and Sunderland got two quick goals with the McGeady penalty and a Maraja fantastic finish. And then Gooch scored an absolutely wonderful goal to make it 3 0. It was all Sunderland, but then Barnsley had a shot. McLaughlin, fantastic save. The ball came out. We had the ball in the box. We were giving it away, and they scored 3 1. And the last five minutes has been all oh, Bansley to hit the post, to do the kitchen sink at something, but we stood firm. <laughs> Three one on time. I can't, I can't think, can't think of now to see it. Like Terry said at the half. Been time for five, five, five minutes and he's nearly jumped. I'm losing my voice. Three one. What a first half. Next goal takes this game. If we score and make a four one, it's game over. They Let's score go, again. They cannot score. They score again. We get bread. Oh, I tell you what, what a first half. It's been four goals. Absolutely amazing. Bubble. Come on. <laughs> what about power? Defensive midfield and role. He hasn't been going forward the first half. He's been pretty quiet, to be honest, like, but he's just in front of the defence and he's not down too bad. You don't forget. No, no <laughs> <game there. laughs> oh, What a fantastic when it was 2 0. Gooch off the line, saved it. It would have been 2 1. And then Gooch went to score to make it 3 0. Yeah. Gooch, so far, man in the match for me. What's your thought, Wincy? Okay, very good, yes. Very Six. good. Uh -huh. What's the final score going to be? 4 1 to Sullen. 5-1, I'm going for 5-1, prediction 5-1. This is a vital match. If we beat Barnes, we go five points clear of them. And they coming back, whatever point. Only two points at the end at the moment. We need to five points clear. We can take Barnes. Come on! What's your name? Morgan. Morgan, what's your thoughts on the first half so far? Class goal from Gooch, the swerve on that oh, goal. Oh, it was unbelievable. And Gooch saved off the line as well. It would have been 2 1 to Sunderland, but Gooch saved the line and made a 3 0 with a fantastic goal. And it's 3 1. What's the final score going to be? I reckon now, I reckon we might win 4 1. 4 1. I'm hoping for 5 1. I'm going for 5 1, no, baby. As many as goals as possible. Oh, definitely. I will beat these with five points in the of Barnsley. As long as we win. Exactly. We haven't played fantastic, so, have we? But we've scored three goals. What a fantastic yeah. first half. Exactly, yeah. Jack Ross is again in half time and see the yeah. players. Look, defend this fucking 3 1 lead, but try and get more goals. Yeah. How do we do with that? We just go for it. Yeah. Attack, for attack, it. keep attack, the defence yeah. solid. Anybody going to score a second half? I reckon Gooch might get number one. Gooch, yeah. Powell's been more of a defensive midfielder than yeah, he's yeah. been more solid. Look at Powell's a fantastic player. He's been controlled his urgence to go in hard. Yeah. And so far, the first half, he's been controlled. Well done, Max Powell, the first half, being well controlled. He's been no liability, no, been no liability <laughs> the first half. He's proved me wrong. He's been solid the first yeah. half. I'm pleased for him. 
No matter what player goes on that pitch, I support 110%. Do you? Yes, I do. Who's your favourite player? Gooch. Gooch, baby. Gooch, come on. Yeah, come on. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on the game so far? Fantastic. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron. Thoughts on the game, Cameron? 3 1 win. I think we'll get a couple of more. 5 1? Huh? Who's your favourite player? McGeady. McGeady, you're McGeady. Good penalty, wasn't it? So yeah, cool, so cool. 3 1 half time, unbelievable first half, wasn't it? Fantastic. fantastic. What was your favourite goal? Lyndon Gooch. Gooch, oh. what a goal, wasn't it? Did you see him clear off the line as well? Saved as a 2 0, it would have been 2 1. And now it's 3 1. Gooch, baby, you're awesome. Awesome, really. He should be awesome. fucking in the fucking American side all day long, shouldn't he? All day long. The first name on the American side sheet. Should I'm like, pleased not, though. <laughs> Keep them fit for us. Come on. Fantastic. Josh Madge is going off, Liverpool oh. Lions coming on. Is Josh Madge not fit or slightly injured? Are we, are we making not the midfield stronger? Oh. We're making the midfield stronger, that's what we're doing. It's not a thing to do. We can score from all over the park. I think this is a good, good decision this make because yeah. Madge does nothing apart from score goals, which we need to score goals, obviously, but it makes our midfielders stronger. And at the moment, Barnsley are overrunning us. As long as we don't go defensive, right? Game one now with Sunderland three, Barnsley two. Barnsley, it's been all Barnsley in the second half. Let's hope we can sort this out. We have to win this match. We have to win this match. Three the look, we have to win the match. I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I think we're fucked. We're yeah. fucked. Yeah. Come on, man, let's sort this out. Let's get this game won. The last 15 minutes, 3 2 to Sunderland, but Barnsley are pressing. Sunderland are good on the counter attack. Do you like my new prescription glasses, Kino? Oh, you look a bit promised, but you're yeah, alright. <laughs> Straight from Specsavers. <laughs> there, with us changing, um, taking my drop 0 9 0. We are dominating midfield better, we get more chances in midfield. We break clean a couple of times, we should have scored the fourth goal. Hello, Mona. Yeah, yeah. Here's Vinci, where have you been, lad? That's a no way to try. I'm just tossing the ball, Vinci. Oh, it's going to be 4-2 yeah, for me. Cheers, Chris. Absolute fantastic game of football to be tonight. Sunderland 4, Barnsley 2, and where do I start? I start with Gooch. Gooch scored a fantastic third goal, but before the third goal went in, he made a goal line clearance. Absolutely brilliant from Gooch. Luke 09 scored the fourth goal. It was a tap in, but he's an absolute fantastic midfielder. The moment Jack Ross took off Marger and brought on Luke 09, Barnsley scored. The second goal to make a 3-2. But up until that point, the second half, it was all Barnsley. Barnsley were putting us under the cosh. And Jack Ross made the decision to take Marjo off and put a loop nine on. And after the second goal that went from Barnsley, Sunderland took control of the midfield. We created more chances, basically on the counter-attack from midfield than we had for most of the game. After that, I felt comfortable we were going to win the match. And then, obviously, Luke and Nine scored the goal to make a 4-2. Jack Ross was over the moon with this victory tonight. 
he came on at the end of the match and he made a point to go over to Max Power and give Max Power a massive hug for his part today. Max Power played a controlled game today, unlike what he's done so far this season. I mean, I'm, I criticised Max Power for having three red cards. I criticised him. Going in for rash challenges, late challenges, making the referee, giving the referee a decision to make. And the decision was to send them off. But today, he played a different game different midfield role altogether. He was like in front of the back four, controlling midfield, more of a defensive midfielder. He didn't go rash at all. He wasn't a liability. He played a controlled game and Jack Ross at the end gave Max Power a big hug and well done Max Power. You played from the beginning. I wouldn't have started yet, but Jack Ross has the faith in you. He started you. Well done Jack Ross for the day for three points, but Barnsley, well done Barnsley. Barnsley made made it made us fight every tooth and nail for this match every point we got now Barnsley harried us didn't give us a second I mean we were three up we were coasting but Barnsley came at us and in the first half they made a three one it could have so easily been three two they hit the post and the second half came out was all but I said it was all Barnsley the second half but up until that point I mean in the first half the first five minutes first ten minutes it was all Barnsley again. And then Sunderland scored three. It was like three quick goals. It was, it was, it was like deja vu. We did it against Rochdale. And we did it against Southend. We scored three quick goals. And we were in total dom dominating the game completely. I mean, McGeady scored a great penalty. Marge a great finish. And Gooch, absolutely fantastic goal to go three up. But they say Barnsley, abs I mean, Barnsley had a massive away of support. We went three up, they went quiet. You could hear a pin drop up in the way of support end. But then they scored, hit the post, and it was all Barnsley second half. But then Jack Ross changed it. He took off March, like I said before, brought no nine. They made a 3 2. But after that, I felt comfortable. We dominated the match after that to make a 4 2. And then we saw the match out. A fantastic result today. Three points. We're four points behind Portsmouth. We were in second place. Only two points behind us. Luton are coming from nowhere. Two points behind us with Peterborough. And now Barnsley have dropped out the fifth place. Five points behind. What a great night. A fantastic result. I got absolutely soaked. Soaked. Just going to the match tonight. Absolutely like a drowned fucking rat. But I've dried off now. And I'm happy. When I have my pizza, it's fucking... What time is it? It's 11 o'clock and it's time for a pizza, a pizza, and time to sober up and I'm going to enjoy my pizza and a bit of tomato ketchup because it's been a great night and I can't wait. I mean, oh, it's going to be my next home match. It's going to be Bradford on Boxing Day. Brad, I can't make Bristol Rovers match. It's Bradford on Boxing Day and the fantastic crowd tonight. I mean, the seats were soaked wet through and 100% support from the Sunderland fans tonight go to that match and they deserve to watch a fantastic 4-2 victory and I'll catch you next time because I'm absolutely fucking I would say pissed but I'm not I'm absolutely over the moon with this result tonight I'm going to enjoy my pizza and I'll see you next time Yes, when you've been to the match all night you've been absolutely pissed on soaked to bits it come home with some nice juicy pizza Mmm, mmm. Oh, yes, look at that pizza. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm.